Hello everyone, my name is Colleen Melo, and I looked at building a young adult LGBTQIA collection. So first I started by looking at the importance of having a diverse collection, um, especially in the teen or young adult section. Um, this section should be really reflective of the community and its readers. Um, everybody should be able to find a book that represents them in some way or aspect. Um, I also looked at the idea of books being windows, mirrors, or doors, um, really looking at that idea of being able to see a reflection of yourself or finding a, um, a book that leads, opens a door to something new um, and learning something from it. Um, in addition to that, readers also want connections to the characters. They want to see themselves reflected in the books that they're reading. Um, that can really have an impact on their lives growing up and it's really, really important. Um, so that leads into diversity audits, which is something that a lot of libraries are starting to do nowadays. Um, diversity audits are where the library looks at its collection and determines how diverse it is and whether there are gaps in the collection that need to be filled. Um, there's a lot of benefits to diversity audits. Um, it allows them to look at the subjects of the books as well as the authors of the books to see how diverse they are, um, what the collection is missing, what needs to be added to it, and so on. Um, there are a couple of drawbacks, one being that they take a really, really long time. They also can be kind of negative if the, if the collection isn't as diverse as the librarian thought. Um, they also could not always be 100% correct if the book comes across as diverse, but then has um, stereotypes or incorrect portrayals. So it could um, it could lead to an incorrect um, audit. However, diversity audits are incredibly important for building an LGBTQI plus collection because um, the community for LGBTQI plus is so large. Um, doing one that's specifically for LGBTQI plus. Um, books would allow the librarian to break um, the diversity audit down and really look at um, the different aspects within the community and make sure that all of them are being addressed, at least somewhere in their collection. Um, so once the diversity audit is done, um, the librarian can then start adding new books to the collection to fill the gaps. And there are a lot of resources that they can look at to start. Um, one being the Rainbow Roundtable, which is a section of ALA. Um, this site offers definitions, resources, book lists, and so much more. And it's a great starting place to learn more about the community and to learn about books that are prevalent in the community. Uh, one thing that I found really interesting was the Rainbow Project book list, which offers um, new books by year. Um, and it goes back, I think, about 10 years. Um, and it gives um, a brief synopsis of the book and it breaks it down into children's and young adults and fiction and nonfiction. Um, so it's a great place to start to find the most recently published books. Um, ALA also has a section on its site um, called Libraries Respond Services to LGBTQIA plus people. This site is more um, the background and it concerns itself more with equity, equity of access and intellectual freedom. So really proving like why this should be part of the collection and um, the importance of making the collection available to all of its people and all of the people in the community. It also is a good place to start as well. It offers young adult um, books and book lists and awards. Um, it's not specifically targeting LGBTQIA plus people, but it does have a lot of books centered on young adults. Um, so it could be a good place to start to narrow down um, the book lists. Um, Goodreads is another good place to look. It's not the best place, but it does offer a lot of um, the more popular choices that um, people liked. Um, they offer the Book Choice Awards, which does have a YA section. And a lot of the books that are picked do have LGBTQIA plus representation. So it's another place to kind of look, maybe not at the beginning, but eventually down the road. 
Another great place to look is at the Stonewall Award, which is an award given specifically to LGBTQIA plus resources. This award was started in 1971 and it's split into three sections. One for adult literature, one for adult nonfiction, and one for children's and YA literature. Um, and this award could be really important um, and it could be um, a really good resource to have in the library, especially in this collection. So finally, having a young adult LGBTQIA plus collection matters. It's a reflection of the community and it should reflect all of the people within the community as well. Um, especially because a lot of times um, nowadays, teens are becoming more aware of gender identity and sexual orientation, um, and they're coming to terms with who they are and either coming out or being an ally to friends and family. So having this collection can really help um, the teens and young adults in your community see themselves in the lit literature that they're reading, which can be really impactful and important. So thank you for listening and go diversify your collection today.